I walk away changed? I didn't. I tell you what I didn't. I got some cool stories out of it. Maybe Proverbs were kind of cool. I have some catchy sayings. But I didn't, it didn't change me. I never walked away and said, God, how can this change me? And I think the main way we need to do that, if we go back to our main point, is through prayer. After we read, we need to pray and say, God, let this word transform me. This can't be something that I, I do on a regular basis and it doesn't change my life. So if, after you're reading, I'm encouraging you to pray. Just pray about what you read and just see what God stirs up in you. Spend, <coughs> spend 10 minutes in reading to start and 5 minutes in prayer and see if God doesn't start changing you. From here, I'm going to conclude. Um, I have a verse to conclude with. It's not on your outlines, but I'd love for you to write down the scripture reference. It's Romans 15.4. For everything that is written in the past is written to teach us, so that through endurance and encouragement of the scripture, we may find hope. There's a hope we find in Jesus. I'm telling you, there's a hope we find in this gospel. In this good news, there's a hope we can find. And so if you guys want to pray with me right now, I'm going to ask you guys some questions. Just lower your heads and close your eyes. And God, God, today we come to you and we wonder, what do you want from us? And if this is the time where you want us to come to know you better, we pray that we come to you and we know you in your full glory and your full strength. And I challenge everybody here to read their Bibles on a daily basis. We love you so much, God, and all these things we pray in your name. Amen. 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 Right. Job, nice. 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 Nice.